Mr. Speaker, the issue of mental health parity doesn't always grab the biggest headlines. But the hard work of Democrats and Republicans have done to pass this landmark legislation will not go unnoticed. For too long, millions of Americans with treatable mental illnesses have gone without care. Some in the business community and the insurance industry said mental health parity simply costs too much. Decline to provide that type of coverage, and patients and their workers and their families suffered. As those that know, when one individual in the family has an illness, a mental illness, the whole family is affected. That wrong ends today with this legislation. It ends because Democrats and Republicans under the leadership of Patrick Kennedy, Ted Kennedy, and Jim Ramstead came together to back this landmark legislation and never gave up. It ends because even once skeptical insurance companies and the business community across the country know that mental health parity is cost effective and helps ensure that American workers and their families remain healthy and productive. And it is a tremendous victory for the millions of Americans who will finally have access to this type of care. This issue might not always be on the front page of the newspaper, but millions of Americans will finally get care they need and they will be remember the work of those of us who did this. I also would like to add a note that while I was campaigning for Congress, I wrote, wrote an op-ed on this issue because I had worked in a White House that through executive order President Clinton signed, as you remember, legislation, Jim, that ensured that federal workers had this and set a model for federal employees. No one op-ed I had got more comment from people at the subway stops, at the grocery stores, people who didn't want to talk, wanted to usually talk about something else until you began that discussion. Never really began this discussion, but it touched people of all lives, all walks of lives, whether it was at the grocery store, on the way to work, around their front door footstep. And they told you about what was going on in their family. Again, it's not the biggest headline. It's not the greatest. It's an important piece of legislation to give people peace of mind that they don't have to hide, given the illnesses of depression and other types of substance abuse that they are facing. They now have an insurance policy that allows them, and as again I want to say, their family to get protection. Because one sick member of a family that entire, with this type of illness, the entire family is affected. Can I have an additional, uh, if I can, 10 seconds? He has no time. I yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you. Thank you to the gentleman. Mr. Speaker, I added, yield an additional minute. Gentlemen, Mr. Rick, I'd like to thank Mr. Ram Ramstead for that. Now I'll try to not use that whole time. I know other speakers have. But this is the type of thing that you find that people who normally talk to you about it will tell you stories of their family, their loved ones, their children who are facing illnesses. And you'll have done something to give them something, and it's ironic and I use this and I mean it when I say it, a peace of mind. They will finally know that their sick child who is facing depression can get that care and it doesn't affect the whole family and they know they got the type of care and they don't have to face a financial decision and being a good parent decision. We're doing something that allows people to go on with their lives. And I want to thank Jim and Patrick and Ted Kennedy for never giving in. When all of us wanted to say, you know, it's just not the right time. It's too hard. The insurance industry doesn't like it. You never gave in. You never gave up. And this is your day for making sure America lived up to its best potential. I want to thank you on a personal level from the floor. Thanks, Jim.